When I think of WikiLeaks, I don't know about anybody else, but I always, I don't always think about what they're going to release. I always wonder what they don't release, mm. what they, what they sort of keep back, and what's the big mystery of, of something, and which makes this new development a bit like Christmas. In a move clouded in mystery, WikiLeaks recently set loose 400 gigabytes of encrypted files on their Facebook page titled "Insurance." Who and what they are insurance against and what is inside the files is currently unknown and up to conjecture. See, I love this because they asked like everybody to mirror yep. it. They put it on their Twitter page. They They're said, like, download hey, it, get ready. Download it, get ready. We got these, these files, 400 gigs. 400 gigs, which could either you be know. like a whole lot of documents or a couple of really big videos. You know. um, what we can garner, at least from, from the, the file names alone is that they have an incredibly high level of encryption. As in, you would need a whole room of supercomputers in like 90 years to try to like crack this without the key. So, like I have it downloaded, and which probably I'll probably be arrested tonight for having it on my computer. Um, but you download it, and you cannot get into this thing no matter what you do uh, until WikiLeaks gives us the key. Uh, but what it is is it's called an Advanced encryption standard at 256 bits. It's a very high level. High level. Of Nobody in the government, like seriously, even in the government, they can't crack this like, thing. Um, it's a way of, of locking up files that even the NSA has approved for use on top secret data. So whatever they got in there, they're trying to keep hidden, but they called it insurance. That was the, yeah. that was the key thing. It's insurance. What are they insuring it against? So to me, it sounds like uh -huh. you're kind of putting the cocked back gun to yeah, someone's like, head. Yeah, go ahead, shut down WikiLeaks. Yeah, go, go ahead, ahead, try it, you know. You know what's all out there? Catch Snowden and put him in jail and we'll release this. Or grab Julian Assange and mm -hmm. put him on trial and we'll release this. Yeah. Which I think, you know And now it's what? everywhere, you to can't just shut back. our website down. For how down. the governments have been acting lately, I think bueno. it's the best way to fight back totally. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with it. Hell yes, put the gun to the government's head and say, yeah. don't fuck with us. Or we'll get, or we'll really make you look bad. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, I hate to say it, I'm kind of licking my chops, waiting to get that key code. You know, I cannot wait, cannot wait. Whatever it is, it's going to yeah. be pretty, pretty amazing. It's nice and that it's we can retaliate in. for a change. Well, yeah, and I think it was smart. It was another smart thing of them of just being like, this is about all of us. It's a group effort. That's kind of how I feel. It's, we talk about it on the show every week. It's a group effort. We all have something to make. The, you know, everybody has something that they can do to to make this world a little bit better and to take some of this like darkness and bullshit out of every day. But we have to stand up and we have to be willing to say, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. And I want you to explain to me why you think it's okay. Not just tell me it's okay and that I'm just too, I'm too, you're just well, patting me on the head and telling me to you're go. You're thinking that we're up to no good, sorry. Because you're up to no good all the time. That's the problem. <laughs>